Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brian H. Waters, Fox Sports 1340, WHAP. That says Hopewell, Virginia. I'm here with my main man, Damo Rowe. What's up, Damo? What's up, man? You know, we outside the world-famous Royal Farms Arena right here in the great city of Baltimore, Maryland. Same place where Ron Simmons became the first African-American world champion mm -hmm. in WCW. Tonight, we saw a host of great African-American men come together for the sixth annual Tory Smith Foundation charity basketball tournament where they gave away scholarships in honor of his younger brother, his late younger brother, Tevin, uh, who we all know passed away in a motorcycle accident. And they honor his name, giving away scholarships. And Dama, what you think about this event? This event was an amazing event. If you were not here, I'm sorry to tell you that you missed out. We had NFL players such as Redskins, Titans, Vernon Davis, to Ray Rice. So it was, a, it was an awesome event for a great cause. You know, and we got a chance to talk to Tori. Um, and last year, the mm -hmm. game went into overtime. But listen to what he had to say about this year's potential overtime and more. Take it away. I, you know what? I was going to stack my team, but I'm like, you know, let me use this little random picker thing. So um, hopefully we don't lose. Man. We haven't lost yet. But we'll see. I made sure that uh, I pushed the random back, and I saw a couple names that I was happy were on there. So I'm like, all right, I'm not going to cheat. I'm just going to keep it fair and square, but we better win. Tori, last year, your son TJ seemed to be having fun. Is he ready for the day? Oh, man, I, it's, he was dancing back here for about 20 minutes, and I was like, do you want to just go out there? He's like, yeah, I want to go out there. <laughs> and so um, I got to make sure he doesn't lose his mind when he realizes that he's not playing in the game. Like, sometimes <laughs> I can't even tell that I've been gone. You know what I mean? Like, you go places. Um, it's like home, you know, and so everyone, you know, no matter where I am around here, I would show a lot of love and, you know, I appreciate it. So we're back. As you can see, Tory Smith, he's excited. They show love for him right here in Baltimore. Definitely. Even though, you know, his Ravens fans are probably disappointed that he didn't come back. Some are, some aren't. But speaking of the Ravens, they have two Super Bowls, Damo. Two since the last time your Redskins won one, by the way. <laughs> Uh, but we saw two legends come back home right. to be a part of a game with one of the close friends and Tory Smith. What did you think we saw Ed Reed and Ray Rice? It was an amazing sight to see two Ravens greats. They are legends. You know, it was great to see them interact with everyone there. It's, you know, it's, there's not, it's not often that you see two great football players come back to their city and give back for a great cause. So it was a, it was a great sight. But you know what? One thing we saw was their personalities, and we saw it was as if they never missed a beat. Mm. I mean, they said it's been over a year since they saw each other. They still talk, but you can see the love. Definitely. And one thing Ed said, I ain't even going to tell you. I'm going to let Ed tell you yourself. We, we, we got Super Bowl together. Yeah. Ain't nobody can take that away. I don't care. I used to slice and dice it. At all. We won, and we got to tighten it a bunch. Simple as a text. We coming out. Put it like this. I'm making sure it's sweet. I still can play football. Bam. Call. Never going to give up. If I was coaching, I would hire you because they got a lot of bum-ass running backs in the league That's right true. now. That's true. I'm not here. You're I ain't playing, so I can say it like that. But, you feel but, me? but you ain't never going to get to say I They got a lot of safeties, too. I can go back and take them out. <laughs> but the truth is, yeah, I'm going to keep, I'm keep it sweet. <laughs> the reason why I'm not playing football, you do the dots. It ain't because I'm a bad football player. No. And that's just keeping it real. But I'm never giving up, never giving in. I got two beautiful kids, beautiful wife and family that I'm going to continue to take care of. Um, with that being said. Put Ray Rice back on the gotta, field. We got to get ready. That's I gotta, what I say. I, I got to warm up. I got to get this little broken left hand jump shot nah. together. But we're never giving up. <laughs> From somebody who put a lot of work in the NFL and no, Put this man back on the field. Quit playing. All right? Y'all put that man in. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to say yeah. <laughs> Woo! You hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? All right, you know what? Let's get to the game. Obviously, this one was here, a charity, but it was a basketball game that took place. An entertaining basketball, to say the least. But you had a chance to talk to Bruce Ellington before the game. What happened? So I asked Bruce, could we expect a Russ stat line from him? And here's what he had to say. Hey, I'm going triple-double, baby. Let them know. <laughs> AI crossover. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Bruce Ellington, he called it. He was the MVP. Damo, your final thoughts? This was an, an amazing event. If you missed out, there will be another one next year. This was a great event filled with great athletes, great people, so I really enjoyed myself. Where can they find you, brother? You can find me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram at Damo Rowe. 
And y'all already know where you can find me at Brian H. Warriors. Make sure, if you haven't done so, subscribe to Fox Sports 1340 AM on YouTube. And make sure you follow us at 1340 AM Fox Sports on Instagram, Snapchat, and, of course, the Twitter. And make sure you like our page, Fox Sports 1340 AM Hopewell. Until the next time, he's Dom Rowe. I'm Brian H. Waters. So long, everyone.